In this movie, we're going to cover conditional statements with number fields. Using the same report that we used from the prior lesson, let's go to our formula fields and create a new formula. We'll call this one if, then number sample. You, of course, can name it whatever you like. What makes sense? I like to name my formulas exactly as what they're intended to do, where possible, of course. We start off our traditional if-then statement, and this time we're going to choose a revenue amount. Now with numbers you can do greater than or less than and then you can do a calculation at the end or just a simple string description. In this case we're just going to do simple if the revenue amount is greater than 100 then bonus level 1. Else is less than or equal to 100 then Notice again how I put an exception at the very end of the if-then statement. It's a good habit to get into just to make sure you've got it covered. Remember, you don't have to, but if you don't put anything, you just end up with a blank. You can make these if-then statements as long as you like. You can put condition after condition after condition. Your condition, like the if, can be a formula of simple constant values, like comparing the revenue about to a fixed amount, or it could be the revenue amount minus another amount, or times a certain amount, or becomes a percentage of said amount. It's really up to you and how well you use formulas and how comfortable you feel with them. I encourage you to play around with these if-then statements because they do come in handy. Let's go ahead and save and close. In this case, I'm going to drag my if-then number sample over here and see what I get. Now in this case, I'm going to edit this sample. And we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to put the then statement down here, give me a little more room. And in this case, I'm going to do the mathematical range value. Notice how I'm saying now if the revenue transaction is greater than 100 and the revenue transaction is less than or equal to 200, now I'll call it bonus level 1. Now I'm going to save and close. Now this is a prime example of forgetting a condition or not keeping it in mind. Now mathematically I've got stuff that says hey this is bonus level one, this is no bonus, but the rest says check. This means that either you put the exception at the final part, a value that's consistent all the way through, or you define each case as you go along. In this case I can do range okay from 100 to 200 to 200 to 300, so on and so forth. I could also say that, hey, if it doesn't meet any of these cases, we'll call it bonus level 3. Meaning that, based on the case I've defined, I've only defined those less than or equal to 100 and those between 100 and 200, but everything else is bonus level 3. Bonus level 1, bonus level 2, bonus level 3. Again, I've just invented these for illustrative purposes. Now we can see the result of this formula. We have a no bonus, a bonus level 3, a bonus level 1. This again is just an example. Now also with numbers you can instead of just displaying a text field or a display field you can actually put it in a formula say if this is the case then give me a number or give me a date. It's really really up to you. A lot of people use this if then statement especially for commissions. It means if a salesperson or an associate sells a certain amount of product they calculate that number of product and then say if they're above this amount they get an extra X, Y, and Z. Or if they're between this range and this range they get 10. If they're between 500 and 1000 they get 20. It really kind of depends on each specific case. Hence the beauty of the conditional. 